Namaste friends. Welcome to Yoga Bliss with Shelly and I'm Shelly. Welcome to seven practices to a better you. Today is practice for love and heal yoga. Today we are going to get deep into opening up the heart space, doing some lovely back bends from gentle to some really big opening that heart, allowing healing to just organically be on the move within your body, in your being. Unroll the mat, unpeel the edges, and together let's do this, friends. Welcome to practice four of seven practices to a better you. Today, we are going to really tap into this heart space and opening up and creating a love for ourselves. We're doing this by self-care and self-care is you and me here showing up. So joining me in your Sukhasana, we're getting the hang of this right, our Sukhasana, this crisscross applesauce, because repetition, the more we do things, the more we take them on as our own and when we take them on as our own, we create new healthy habits. And when we create new habits, after we do something for 21 to 45 days and just keep flowing and keep doing it, it becomes of a part of who we are and that's how we become a better us. So pause this video if you need to, grab a little pillow or a blankie, fold that and just put that under those sit bones and allow yourself to just nestle in and just settle in here. If you would like to take a mudra, then you may do so. If you don't know what a mudra is, you can just put your hands on the top of your knees. If you're feeling like a little more bah, maybe you're having some anxiety or overwhelm or lots of thoughts, grounding is more pressing in. You can even press your hands down into the earth to allow yourself to be connected. Or if you're feeling more inviting, you can flip those palms up and you can take that mudra if you would like to. And my friends, envisioning a color that makes you feel so much love, a color that reminds you of healing in your life. And this could be one color or many colors. So you can close your eyes now or soften the gaze and find a little drishti and wiggle into that body as we check in. As we check in, just bringing that color in, whatever colors that you need, and just checking and noticing if you're feeling tight anywhere, noticing if you're feeling any pain, noticing the thoughts, noticing the rise, noticing the exhale. Be the noticer here. As you notice, let go of judgment. This is not about judging yourself or <gasps> worrying about what you're thinking or not doing. Letting all of that go what was happening before and what's happening after and just be here. Like a beaming spotlight, my friends, is just shining down on you and you are here and you are the center stage of your own show because this is your life. This is how you be a better you. And from here, just gently bringing the palms of the hands and the fingers and you can twinkle those fingers. You can Imagine like you're playing, tickling the ivories, playing a piano for a few moments as you sway, inhaling and exhaling, gently bringing those fingers and those palms to the heart space, to that space of love, the space of healing. Gently, humbly tucking the chin, bringing in a long breath, lengthening the inhale into that heart center. Growing that heart space and allowing the shoulders to relax. Allowing the body to relax, the jaw to relax and letting that go. Flowing with the breath into the heart center. Relaxing and melting. Still holding integrity through the core by activating that navel towards the spine. Just gently, if you feel you need to hunch forward, maybe you're having, you have a lot of 
pain and suffering in your life, a lot of grief, knowing that that's okay. Wherever you are in your journey with healing and loving yourself is okay. We're here to open up new aspects of that. Inhaling that color, bringing that color like a floating diffuser or a foggy day, billowing and bringing that light, that healing color into your heart center. And maybe you can envision like a dark wall or a dark hole and envisioning this light color just coming in and allowing this color just turning on like a, a beaming light. Or if you can imagine a flower, your favorite flower or perhaps a lotus and just gently envision it, just gently opening the sun shining in it, just starting to blossom out and open or imagine a dark, cold door and imagine a light turning on, warm light coming in and that door opening. So whatever that feels like to you and setting an intention for yourself today and trusting and knowing with that inner knowingness, that inner wisdom that we practice in practice three, that what you need will come to you, my friends. Wonderful work. Inhaling a big breath in. Exhale to rise up. You can gently bat the eyelashes open, opening the arms up like a set of wings, wide horizontally. Exhaling, coming forward, palms kissing palms, diving those thumbs to that heart. Each time, bringing awareness to that heart, envisioning that color, envisioning that healing journey inside. Exhale, diving forward, inhale, opening up that heart space. That heart is the front, the sides, and that back body. Exhale, diving forward, Robin's breath, inhale to rise. Exhale to dive, flowing those arms to the sky, opening that heart, shining that light, blossoming, opening that door. Maybe it's like a long crowd of people down a hall and you're just in like the Red Sea part your heart opens. Exhale, coming back to center. Two more of these at your own pace. Wonderful work, my friends. Really tuning into that heart. Wonderful work. You are doing so awesome. Exhaling, coming into a tabletop position. And this is up to you, to your comfort. You can grab that blanket and set it up nicely, unravel all of the roly-poly things because we often take time for everyone else, right? We're so loving and kind and we want to help everyone heal, but today it's time to do that for you. Coming in, bringing those hands, a wide open starfish hand, and just slowly, gently hugging those elbows in towards each other diving that nose towards the earth like you're rolling an invisible ball, maybe an invisible ball of light, a golf ball, a tennis ball, whatever you would like to imagine. Rolling that as you hug and gently hovering and coming down to that belly here. And on the belly, pressing those wide open starfish hands. My blanket's a little bit in the way, so if you have a blanket in the way, move that out of the way so your hands can go into the earth. Really hugging those thighs together, squeezing through the glutes, tracking the legs long. You can point the toes or put them up. Inhale, raising up for a baby cobra. Bhujangasana. Gently twisting from one side with the inhale. Opening that heart through the front from the side body and this gentle back bend. Wonderful work. Exhale, diving forward and just resting here for a moment. Just pausing. Allowing that heart space to just open. And something that I really learned with healing in my journey with Reiki is that healing is not something that miraculously happens in one moment. Like, yes, there are those miraculous moments in stories that we have heard. Healing is a journey and it's a part of life. And when we can open up that healing is just part of our journey and freeing our emotions, that that's when we can truly surrender to love and allowing ourselves to heal, my friends. Inhale, raising up for that baby cobra. Maybe give me a little tss, allowing that sassy self to come out. Hissing that forward, exhaling, 
down. Wonderful work, my friends. Inhaling, bending the right leg, heel, driving back towards sit bone, hugging that thigh in towards that midline, the center of the body. Exhaling, bending the opposite foot. So imagining like the ceiling is coming down on your feet and your job is to press. This option here, this more gentle variation for a bow pose, allowing the palms of the hand to rest upside, supination, soup to the nation. You imagine like you're putting soup in your hand and you're giving it to the nation. Supination is when the hand is up. And inhale, raising up that heart and just gently opening that heart, still bending that back, just like we were in that cobra, just really gentle, my friends. And really opening up as you hug the heels towards each other, hugging the thighs together, opening that heart through the front and the back body, imagining that color, or maybe your color changes. A lot of the times I get like a swirly array, like tie-dye colors coming in and bringing that into that heart space and shining light on all the cracks and the holes and the wound and the grief and the suffering and, and just sending that light, helping mend our heart, our holes in our hearts. Exhaling down to the mat. Wonderful work, allowing those legs to lay long. Inhaling, raising the right arm above the head and the left arm above the head. Really hugging through that core and the glutes and the booty. Inhale, raising up the right foot, raising up the left foot, hovering up above the earth. Inhale, raising the right arm and the left arm and taking a moment just to swim here. You can swim with the arms forward or if you would like to be a little more free and floaty, swimming, opening up that heart here on the earth. Who said being on the mat wasn't working that body? Holy moly. I can sweat more on mat work than I can in standing poses. Believe that or not. Exhaling, holding that body, squeezing, coursing that core strength. Exhaling those arms long and strong. Big breath in, letting that go. <sighs> Yoga is the joining, the union. So joining that breath to that movement and finding a little freedom, a little self-expression. Wonderful work, my friends. Be free to swim. Swim and all now. Swim your body. Make the sound effects. It is not a fun yoga class unless we shoot or maybe we're flying Superman. My kids like to call it Superman. I like to call it swimming because I like swimming is so fun. <laughs> Exhaling down. Woo! Feeling those back muscles. Can you feel all of the abdominal muscles? Holy macaroni. It feels so good. Big wide open starfish hand. Really tuning up on the feet. Exhale. Diving. Pushing up. Onto all fours, my friends. Really tuning into the first finger and the thumb all the way to the pinky, rounding out through, creating this big open space through the front body, drawing the elbows forward, posting up on one foot, posting up on the other foot for this beautiful plank as you open up through the shoulder blades and just rocking a little bit here. Option always, you can stay on the knees. Just rocking as you open the heart in the front and the back body. Wonderful work, my friends. <sighs> Exhale, diving those sit bones high up to the sky, really sinking the heart in towards the upper thighs, the front body, in towards the front body, opening that heart, heart shining and radiating in this little inversion in this downward facing dog, pedaling out the heels. Whoo! Allowing yourself just to kind of flow with however your body is right here. Inhale, raising that right heel up high to the sky. Inhale, bringing that foot. And the goal is to bring that foot and move it forward. And if you've practiced with me before, I know when I first started and I still have my challenges where I need to give myself a little ba -ba -da -ba helping hand, moving that blanket a little bit back out of the way, really rooting that front foot into the earth, four corners in the front, four in the back. Left knee, heel, knee, traces behind you. Inhale, raising up, setting yourself up like you're on a set of skis here. Inhaling, hands to the hips, opening up here for an Anjaneyasana, a crescent lunge. Option to stay here 
Or my friends, if you are feeling a little more empowered, you can exhale those arms forward, posting up on that hind foot, really toning through the midline by hugging everything together, drawing that core into the body, hands at the hips, exhale if you would like, floating those arms up high, opening up that heart, bringing in that healing color, and bringing in a big breath and saying, I love you self, on the inhale, I love you self, on the exhale. I know it can be vulnerable and it can be difficult, maybe just repeating this inside, a big breath of love into yourself. Big breath of love out to yourself. Now think of a person that you love the most and cultivate that love for them. Exhaling those hands down to the hips and you can gently float back down. I'm thinking of that person that you love and how much love you feel for them and just allowing that to grow. All that love, all that love. Exhale, diving those hands down into the mat and bringing that other foot back for that plank pose here, really opening up through that front body and the back body. Exhale, sinking those sit bones high up to the sky, still feeling all that love for that person. Exhale, the opposite heel dives up high. Inhale, traveling forward, however you need to and whatever sound effects you need to do. Moving that blankie out of the way, setting up on those four corners of the feet, two in the front, two in the heel, setting up on a set of skis here in this body and really just growing that love for that person. And now I want you to take that love that you have for that person and I want you to put that towards yourself. We often give all of our love and all of our effort and all of our healing towards everyone else. This practice is bringing that and cultivating, growing that love for yourself. Self-love begins right here in this heart center. If you would like to go a little bit deeper, posting up on that hind foot. Inhale, raising up, hugging those thighs together, feeling that burn, drawing through the core. Inhale, floating those arms up, shining that heart, blossoming that flower, launching that energy from the toes, through the legs, all the way up through the heart, hips, heart, head, fingertips, like a lightsaber, tipping back, soft back bend, crescent lunge. Big breath in, letting that flow. Wonderful work, my friends. Exhale, diving those hands forward. And however this looks to you, if you would like to come back onto that knee and then just bring the other knee, or if you would like to power through and put yourself back in a plank and gently float down to those knees, my friends. Floating from the knees here and setting up and getting your blanket all nice and cozy, lengthening those legs long behind you, or option to post up. Coming in for the ultimate heart opener, really opening our heart, just front, back, and this beautiful back bend. Right here, really tuning into the feet, the hips alignment. Our hips naturally, when we're doing these beautiful back bends like this, this heart opening, we wanna kinda get a little lazy. So really pulling that body forward, like a drawstring, I actually have one on my pants, metaphorically and realistically. Squeezing the glutes, hugging the thighs together and envisioning that there's this energy, this power, this pull that's pulling your hips towards the wall. And your job is to focus on keeping that there while opening up that heart. Bringing that visualization of that lotus, that flower, that door opening and being warm that color coming in, that light being bright, imagining and bringing that in with you as you inhale, diving the right arm and sliding that in your back pocket, whether or not you have a back pocket, you do now, my friend, there's your superpower. Exhaling, opposite hand. If you are new to the practice, my friends, stay here. This is activating and opening up that body for this is the first version of a camel. So opening up that heart and envisioning, shining and shining, that door opening. If you have practice, it is now time to do your thing and bring those arms back towards the heel or back towards the ankle. Really coursing that core in, allowing that body to stay strong, floating back, opening that heart, opening that body, shining that love and that light, feeling that light and that love for yourself. 
because you are worth it. Breathing in big breath of love for yourself. Exhaling lots of love out. Breathing in I love you self. Exhaling I love you self. Breathing in I am open to healing. Exhaling I'm open to healing. Breathing in I am open to healing. Exhaling I'm open to healing. Gently sliding that hand back up into that back pocket or if you are at that back pocket and just taking a moment to get a little wiggly. Wiggle, gyrate those hips, do what you need to do, maybe move those knees, woo! Heart open, are you shining? Are you open to healing, open to loving yourself? Yes, you are, and if you're not, do this video again, because you can be, if you are willing to be open to love and healing in your life, my friends. From here, exhaling, melting the heart forward and taking it slow and steady. Our spine is like a credit card. And what happens if we bend our credit card too much? It's gonna get weak. So we wanna treat our credit card kindly. From here, touching big toes, opening up the knees wide, sinking those sit bones down to the earth. Exhale, sinking that heart down to the earth. And just being gentle with your spine. And if your spine is not liking this, I encourage you to maybe take a few cow and cats. Actually, we're gonna reverse that because that's what mine's feeling right now. It was feeling like, uh, this was a good idea, but right now I would like a few cow and cats. So take these slow and mindful as you're just gently, maybe not even your full cow and cats, maybe a baby cow and cat, arching the spine, tucking the chin towards the tail, joining that breath, that prana, drawing that life force in. Exhale, just gently sinking. Your back is like, yeah, we've done lots of these. We're doing good. Inhale, aiming in. Exhaling it out. Just gently, side to side, bopping to the right, to the left, giving love to that spine. And now if you're ready, toes touching toes, knees open wide, sinking those sit bones back. Option always to put a pillow or blankets under here if your mobility or flexibility does not allow. I know my husband, he has to keep his booty up pretty high. Sinking, melting the heart down to the earth. And bringing those hands, one hand behind you and the opposite hand behind you. Beautiful work, my friends. And allowing that heart to sink as you're open to opening as you're open to healing, bringing in that color that makes you feel so much love and healing and allowing that color to grow around your heart. I like to envision almost just like a magic fluff of cloud just coming in and swirling around me, swirling around any spaces of pain or discomfort. Wonderful work, friends. Healing and love is so here with you. It's here with you because you are open to it. Wonderful work here. And taking this moment to honor and acknowledge yourself and to give yourself so much love. Wonderful. Slowly coming up to all fours. Ooh, that is a doozy. And joining me in that Sukhasana, that crisscross applesauce, maybe just doing a little quick, gentle tuck back to that blanket, getting back up on those sit bones, crisscross applesaucing, gently bringing hands to the heart center, bringing in a big breath, and just gently twisting to the left. Not even a full twist, just twisting to the corner of the mat. If you feel you could use a little bit more, you can twist to the center or bring your focus to the opposite shoulder, whatever feels best for you and your spine. Big breath here. Exhale, it out. Coming to center. Twisting to the right side. And knowing, my friends, that breath is here for you all the time, not just in yoga. It calms and cools the nervous system. It helps ease our emotions, calm anxieties and panic. And the best part is it will melt stress away. So today, coming back to center, 
hands back to the heart space. I encourage you to bring your breath with you. Bring that healing color. And if you're feeling any tightness, any resistance, that's okay. We are awakening and opening up to these ideas that we can love ourselves and we can be on this healing journey of our lives. I am so deeply grateful for you and bowing the head and giving so much gratitude to yourself and just gently sliding those hands over the heart, maybe crossing at the shoulders and giving yourself a hug and whispering, I love you self, I love you self, I love you self. Give yourself that big old squeezy hug and again, holding that image of just blossoming that heart center. I'm so grateful for you and I look so forward to practice with you. Practice five for speaking your truth yoga. Thank you so much and I can already feel and I can already see that you are this better, brighter, more beautiful, confident, sexy, amazing version of yourself, my friends. I love you beyond words. Thank you so much for practicing. Thumbs us up and share, share the seven practices to a better you with people that you feel need it. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, friends. Thank you.